most of us have heard the word master mind. And when you think about what does that really mean? It's a, well, it's a, an event with people where they get together and they share ideas. Sure. But what's really happening? That there is a mind that when your mind, my mind, everybody else's collective mind gets together and we share our thoughts, there are new thoughts created. You may have uh, A, I may have B, and we form that together and it becomes A, B, C, right? And it's better that those two parts together are better, right? Uh, uh, they, they're more valuable than the sum individually, uh, collectively. And so I go to this mastermind in the insurance industry at this gentleman's house, uh, multi, multi-million dollar home, and uh, I'm, looking for, I'm looking to see what's going to happen because I've never been to a mastermind. And the gentleman comes down and he starts talking out of teaching out of a Bible and he starts teaching leadership out of a Bible. And I'm like, what is going on here? First, uh, outside of church, I've never seen a person even teach out of a Bible, talk out of a Bible. And then sometimes we have this misconception of multi, multi-millionaire. You know, you don't talk about God versus like, no, the reason I'm a multi, multi-millionaire is because of God. And so it was a paradigm shift from the world that I was introduced of leaders I was around. And that's what masterminds are. They put you around real leaders, uh, different between a manager and a leader. I was around managers at that time that I classified as leaders because I hadn't been exposed to leaders. And so the next day we have the final part of this mastermind. And there was a conversation that happened. So we're fully present and there was a question that was asked. He said, um, what do Michael Jordan... Oprah, Gandhi, Mother Teresa goes through this whole list of people have in common. What do they have in common? And so people are like giving. Well, no, like competitive. Well, no, Mother Teresa, no. Uh, 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 everybody's going through hardworking. Yeah, but that's not. Uh, uh, man, they're 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 the best. Well, yeah, but that's not. They're. And so we come down. Everybody's going through these answers, right? So what happens in a mastermind? A lot of conversation, a lot of ideation, a lot of thoughts. And what's happening is you're filtering in these meetings so that you can find truth. And so we finally get down to it. And he says, they only have one thing that you could say they all have in common. So we're all waiting for what is this one thing that they all have in common. He says, every single one of them sold out. Every single one of them sold out to one thing. Mother Teresa helping the poor, Gandhi liberating India, right? Uh, Michael Jordan, basketball, Oprah, talk show, healing, right? They sold out to one thing. And you look at people that are the greatest at, at, in the world, most of them did one thing that they mastered, that they put 10, 15, 20 years into, that they became the very best on the planet in that craft, in their crusade, in their cause. He says, the greatest challenge for all of you guys in this room is that you will never really know what selling out is like. I remember quitting my job that day and saying, I'm going to go into the insurance industry and I'm going to make this work. I dropped out of school. I quit my job and I made insurance work. And today we make a uh, seven figure income in the insurance industry. But I had to say no to all these other opportunities that came, but it came from the power of a mastermind. So many of you guys right now have uh, option A, option B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Like literally you have an alphabet, uh, an alphabet of options. And until you start crossing those off, and you eliminate them, will you ever really actually get clear on what is your one? And then once you have one and you don't have any other alternative, then you have to make one work. So then you give everything to that one and then you realize that you can have and do and live the life you wanna live when you become obsessed on one thing and you sell out. If I didn't go to that mastermind, that small intimate group, that, that brainstorming session, would I have gotten that breakthrough? I don't know. I don't know. But I know that because I attended the mastermind, my entire life from that day on was forever different. Because I said, I'm going to sell out to this industry. Masterminds have an ability to create so much clarity and focus that if you're not part of a mastermind, find out how you can get into a group 
And, and you see churches do this, you see businesses do this, you see workshops. Find out how you can get into that group, that mastermind that you want to get into. And the last part of this is start looking at the people in life that you admire, that you want to be more like or take qualities of their life and, and, and you yourself evolve into that and start figuring out how you can start collecting those relationships so that you can form your own mastermind so that every time you're thinking about doing something in life, you know, hey, these seven people, these three people, these five people, these 12 people, I'm going to have a conversation with each one of them to get their perspective. And we're not going to go through like who to have in your mastermind, but I believe that there's faith, relationships, marriage, business, finances, leadership, age, uh, 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 failure, successes. Like you want people that have wisdom that are going to be able to share that wisdom with you because you get one life and it goes by so damn fast uh, that you don't have time to go through an experience and make all those mistakes if you really want to get to where God is hoping that you do and where you know that you want to be. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next video.